Hi, in this video you will learn how to create an awesome color highlight effect in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. First, let us take a look at the effect you will learn to create today. This is the regular color photo. You might know how to create a black and white version of the same photo by using the desaturation effect. But do you know how to make the photo pop with color highlight effect like this and this? It's a very interesting effect and it doesn't take much time at all to create this effect and you can wow your audience with this neat little trick. Do you want to learn how this effect works? Great! The first thing I'm going to do is to create a couple of duplicates for this photo. So I'm going to right click and say duplicate slide and another duplicate slide. Let us go to the first duplicate and I'm going to do some cropping. So let us go to format, go to the crop tool here and let us crop till around here and then till around here. I'm just trying to bring some uh, color highlight to one part of this photo. That is all that I'm trying to do here. Now that I have done the cropping, let us go to the option called remove background. And I can see that there is a certain kind of an effect applied by PowerPoint by default. Wherever you see this pink color, that is all considered as part of the background by PowerPoint and it will be removed. So we are going to make some adjustments. I'm going to move this bounding box so I can include the color of the hair as well. And I'm going to move this slightly so I can include some colors here as well. So that looks pretty much good. Yeah, this is good enough. Now I'm going to go to the option called mark areas to keep. That is the green option here. And I'm going to click and drag across this which is uh, taken as a background. Now this is also included. That's it. It's very, very simple. I'm going to click outside and now I have this particular portion in color and the rest of it is removed. Now I'm going to take this by right clicking and cutting it and I'm going to place this right on top of the original photo. Now let us go back to the second duplicate that I have uh, taken. Now I'm going to select this and do the same cropping. Now this time to include the face of the baby. So let us go to format tool, go to crop tool and this time let us crop out the mother from the picture and let us do the cropping from the right side as well. Beautiful. Now let us click on this, go to remove background and you can see that this is how the remove background uh, effect is applied by PowerPoint. As you can see all this pink area is considered as background and hence will be removed from the photo. Now this is the portion that will remain. Now I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment. I'm going to click and drag this particular bounding box on the right so I can include um, the full part of the head here of the baby. and. You can see that there is this portion which is actually supposed to be removed but is still considered by PowerPoint as part of the photo. So let me go to mark areas to remove and click and drag across this particular background and that is now removed. Now I can click outside and here we have the picture of just the baby's face. I am going to right click on this, cut, go to the original photo and paste it. Now, even though this looks exactly like the photo that we had earlier, there is a slight difference. This photo has a part here and a part here which are stuck on top of the original photo. So now I am going to take the original photo, click on the area that is not uh, been pasted on. So I have taken the background here and let me go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the color option here and then click on the first one called as saturation 0% and that converts this into a black and white photo. Since we have stuck these photos after cropping them and removing the background, these remain in color. Beautiful, isn't it? Now if I apply custom animation to these, then the whole thing will be really interesting. So I'm going to select this and select this while holding the shift button down. Go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon 
I'm going to choose the option called fade animation and both of them have to happen on click. So on the first click, this part of the highlight will appear and then on the next click, this part of the highlight will appear. Let us go to the slideshow mode. Here you see a drab looking black and white photo. On a click, we have a color highlight of the mother and then the color highlight of the baby. Isn't this beautiful? Try this effect on any other photo you want to highlight in your next presentation. Your audience will be stunned by the effect. I hope you liked the stunning effect that I taught you in this video. If you want to learn more such interesting tips, tricks and techniques in PowerPoint, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. If you're a trainer or a course creator who wants to make over your boring looking training slides into something more interesting and memorable for your audience, then please check out our PowerPoint Mastery Program by clicking on the No More button here. I'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click on the button here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss this email course. I'll see you on the inside.